The velocity curve property box is meant to transform the velocities of the internal MIDI in Superior Drummer 3's Grooves tab so that you can tailor the response of the loaded sound library to the MIDI that's played back. An important distinction to make is that if you're attempting to adjust the velocity curve for MIDI that's input into Superior Drummer 3 from eDrums or any external MIDI controller, the velocity curves in the MIDI in eDrums settings page should be used first. In this first example, you can hear how the snare hits sound a bit out of place for the chosen MIDI file. Creating a custom curve helps lower the velocities of the mid-velocity hits to the appropriate level, while still allowing for louder accent snare hits. Custom velocity curves are also incredibly useful for stacking. Here I have an example where a stacked electronic snare uses a gentle curve to better blend with the acoustic snare throughout its velocity range. There's also velocity limits. Moving the upper limit down will set the velocity ceiling for the MIDI file, ensuring that no samples in the velocity layers above the set ceiling are triggered. Moving the limit up from the bottom would raise the velocity of low-level hits. Moving the right side limit inward would result in velocities above the chosen threshold to be transformed to 127. The opposite would be true for the left limit, where velocities below the threshold would all be transformed to 1. Velocities above this threshold would then have a much steeper curve. Adjusting velocity curves globally is much faster and easier than adjusting individual MIDI files themselves, and it's just one of the many ways that Superior Drummer 3 allows you to create the perfect drum sound.